This isn't very inviting. I don't think anyone's been back here in a while, buddy. Droids from the forest ray. gonna destroy Z to get what he wants. He's obsessed. We shouldn't have left her at the outpost. We have to get her back. Clever. Sometimes the solution to a problem lies in how it's framed. Always consider the situation from multiple angles. Always giving me a new perspective, eh, Seer? I'm good, buddy. Let's go. Let's stop for a moment. Lockdown.
pipes, exposed wires, a recipe for disaster. I guess this will need reporting in. Then documenting, noting, logging, lot of bureaucracy. Perfect job for a B1. Maintenance path should get us topside. I think. Let's take this to Domas. Just... there. Sorry, old droid, but I promise you're gonna live on. No way of getting through. Maybe we can get to that turbo lift now. Enemy approaches. Get back here. I survived war. 
Focus. Centauri, your work is unparalleled. But sending a droid instead of facing me yourself, such cowardice. A small price to pay for her sparing your life. Tell me, did the Jedi's death satisfy you? He escaped. All those years of incarceration dull your edge. Sharp enough to see the Jedi might be your equal. Say it again and I'll cut out your tongue. It'll grow back. <laughs> Dagon, listen. The Jedi is a threat. Not now that we have this. I already duplicated the device's frequencies. We can now access any site she sealed. Well done, Ravis. You, activate the forest array. Go to the Shattered Moon. I know where Centauri hid the last compass. Dagon. After you have it, I will consider my oath to you fulfilled. What then, old friend? The galaxy has changed. There are many wars, but little honor to be won from them. Once we are in Tantalor, perhaps we can dream up a new war. You and I. <laughs> perhaps. Before I go, do you want me to scrap the droid? No. Centauri must have purged the droid's memory bank. Has no knowledge of the compass. I will tear it down to the bolts and reprogram it to serve me as it once served her.
He's close. Priorite. Wonder what this will fetch a dumbest shop. Dagon could be anywhere. Ready, BD? If you're ready, I'm ready. Skate pods. Might come in handy. Let's get you out of there. Do hurry, Cal. He's going to 
going to reprogram me. That droid is mine. I suppose I'll rescue myself. So you survived Ravis. How? The usual. You murdered your fellow Jedi. I struck down those who stood against me. Leave us or share their fate. Even if you believe the Council betrayed you, they were still your family. How arrogant that you would presume to know what drives me? What I can see is your obsession with Tantalor has blinded you. Whatever happened, you can't change the past. Trust me on that one. Perhaps you're right. The past is a chain. I must sever it completely. <laughs> Jedi. Is that it? You cannot last. Useless. Doesn't hurt. MVD. down anyone who stands in my way. Scared. I 
sense you fool. Friendly as ever. You've delayed me long enough. <laughs> You're not getting away that easy. Thanks. Two warriors at the height of their powers bound in brotherhood. This is the stuff of legends. See. I got her. Meet you up there. Let's keep moving. Perhaps that's wise. Dan and Gary is positively mad. He kept going on and on about some compass. Your master created them to navigate the abyss. This is the first I'm hearing about it. She purged that knowledge from your memory. That would explain it. Well, Dagon is certain that she left a compass for him to find. Let's hope so. Dagon sent Ravis to check out another array on the moon. Maybe we'll find it there. Back to the moon. Great. Oh, Master Kree, why did you send me to free that traitor? People are complicated. Maybe she thought the Order got it wrong. If only we could ask her. Please let us leave this dreadful place. Save us way out of here. Sure about that? No. Okay then. You seem nervous. We're going with him. Hop aboard, Z. Z at the outpost. Yep, I'm coming. Dagon must have sent Ravis to get the compass. Maybe the forest array powers something on the moon. Uh, it's a guess. But if Ravis is on his way there, that's where we need to be too. Well, that was nice of him. So, you're from Coruscant, huh? That's right. And you? Here. This? Swap? No, Kobo. 
Fascinating! A local! You must tell me all about it. Great to see you. To me, or what's left of one. Come on, let's go break the news. It was a delight for growing up on a planet with so many colors. Don't get me wrong, I used to adore Coruscant, but all that neon, it's a bit hard on the eyes. I need to clear my mind. Welcome, Jedi. To be still is to be calm, to allow for wisdom to spring forth. Yet the galaxy is seldom static. Motion, however, can provide clarity. Let truth flow like a river and carve new channels around any obstacle. Get through. What? <laughs> 
I thought I'd feel this. What is it? Missing Coruscant. The temple. My cramped room. I know how you feel. not defy the council. Dagon Gara feels he must do what is right. Master Rensis is won't allow it.
these chambers, all this training, and for what? A long shot for a planet that might not even exist. is with me. Howdy. You got any priorite on you? Can't say I do. Uh, then you're nothing. Me? I got a lift. Worked all day for it. Can I see it? Okay, I lied. I'm fresh out. I'm a failure. Scuba. Let's hope the felt new to Greece, laddie. I'll have to master all my seaward charms if I'm to lure it into my grasp. Seems it liked you. Hey, don't need surprised. It is a great talent of mine. You see, the frilled newt is the most sensual of sea folk, skittish, except when it spies a potential mate. Hence my great vanity on this day. It is a shame to deceive him, but I can't offer a quiet home in my tank as a recompense. Sounds fair to me. Now, shall we continue my tale? So, Scuva, whatever happened with the pirates? So there we were. Four quarren, armed with spears, each way a mind to make a mantelpiece of my wee rubbery head. I looked over to me captain, and he stared right back, waving his arms like a, a goober fish in heat. At the harpoon I held in my hand. Oh, for a black instant, I considered nailing those pirate quarren to the rocks with my harpoon. But something stopped me from pulling the trigger. Perhaps it was the sparkle that caught my eye. The sparkle of a passing glumbrigil. What would those pirates say to a whole school of glumbrigils? A crackle and a sparkle as they be, 
thought I. So I opened my wee mouth, and I emitted the mating call of the eel. You speak eel? Aye. But I forgot to turn on me comb. We screamer alone heard the cry. But that demented expression put such a fright on the quarry that it dropped the blasters. By the time they'd come to the census, we were swimming away as fast as our flippers could carry us. It was only later, as we fled aboard the Zephyr schooner, that I realized how close the real danger was. But I shall continue my tale next time.